Now it's time to create a nice surface for our tree. Um, we'll start with a simple material for the higher branching levels. So choose File, New Material. Uh, then go for the color channel. I'll open up the uh, material editor. Um, I'll call this one branch. Inside the color uh, channel specify the path to the bitmap bark call. Don't forget to reduce the blur scale so that the texture looks a little bit sharper. Then activate the bump channel and specify uh, the texture path to bark rel. This is a black white texture that I created out of the color texture. Decrease the blur scale and increase the strength to about 200 or 250 percent. And finally you could adjust uh, the specular a little bit. <coughs> um, so here we go with our simple material uh, for the higher branching levels. Then simply dra drag this material icon on top of branch 2 and um, when turning off the leaves or hiding the leaves um, you'll see that the higher branching levels now have this material. Um, if you think that the material looks too stretched then you should um, work on the tag properties of the material. You could uh, for example uh, use higher values for tiles Y. Let's see what happens. Yes, this looks much better. So here we go with the material uh, for the higher branching levels. So for now I'll turn the higher branching levels off and also hide them uh, so that we con can concentrate on the trunk and on the main branches. So if you take a closer look at the trunk and also on the main branches you'll notice um, that this looks much too regular, much too smooth. Um, inside Xrock 3.5 you could make use of the R&D function to displace the surface. Um, inside Xrock 4.2 and Cinema 4D uh, this feature doesn't exist anymo anymore uh, but there is a much more powerful feature uh, which is the displacement feature of Cinema 4D. Normally I would copy the branch material, but to get a better impression what happens, I'll create a new material. Um, darken it a little bit. So if you take a look at the different slots, you'll notice the displacement slot. So activate displacement. Um, and then you could either put a noise inside here or also a bitmap texture. I prepared a bitmap texture, so specify the path to bark this point tiff and perhaps increase the height to about 20 units. Then drag this material on top of um, the stem object. Here we go. Um, well, and in the viewport uh, it, nothing changed. You can't see any displacement. This is because uh, the displacement of Cinema 4D is uh, happened at render time. So if you hit the render button you should notice displacement. Mainly on the branches right here on the trunk uh, there's barely displacement visible. Um, and why does this happen? This is pretty simple to explain. If you take a look at the geometry of the tree, I'll just turn on the graw gra with lines, then you'll notice that we have really few polygons, uh, so <laughs> there is nothing there that could be displaced. Um, now you could either um, subdivide the object, use splines with higher resolution. Uh, this is the way that you have to use inside um, Cinema for the R8, but if you are using Cinema 4D R9, you can make use of sub polygon displacement. So simply activate this feature. I'll reduce the subdivision level to about three, and then also check round geometry. 
and then hit the render button and see what happens and now you can see um, that the trunk and the branches are smoothly displaced so now simply repeat the steps that we did before with the branch texture activate the color channel specify the path to the bark color texture reduce the blur scale oops so minus 50 and also activate the bump channel and use the bark rel file inside the bump channel increase the strength uh, and also the specular should be uh, adjusted and well I switch back to the default grow shading and if you take a close look again you'll notice that the texture is uh, stretched along the stem and the main branches so you should increase uh, the parameter tiles Y perhaps use something around 5 and also tiles X so if you now take a look this looks much better and finally you can uh, hit the render button again and now you see a really rough surface uh, for our Gnali tree